Did you know that the Flipper Zero is also a video game console? Let's get started. Hello and welcome to Modern Broadcast. Now, this is the official video game module for the Flipper Zero. I and mean, it does say here on the box with a little outline of the device that it is powered by the Raspberry Pi. So that's quite interesting. This is the official Flipper Zero game module from the website. I'll have a link, I'll have a link down in the description below. But yeah, I figured we'd go ahead and do a little unboxing of this module. I don't think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this, but I thought it was something fun, something a little bit different for our Flipper Zero. So here's our Flipper Zero device. And uh, as we see, we're working with the clear shell that I did in a video a little while back. If you haven't seen that, I strongly recommend you give that a watch. But what a perfect segue into today's sponsor, PCB Way. Now, you probably already know PCBWay for their high quality PCB boards, but did you know they offer fantastic 3D printing services? Their 3D printing capabilities are top notch and you can customize your projects in ways you might not have thought possible. Thanks again to PCBWay for sponsoring this video and now, let's get started. All right, so the video game module. Taking a look at the box here, we kind of see an outline of the device. It says video game module powered by Raspberry Pi. Looks like we still have access to our GPIO pins, or at least some of them. And it looks like we have a boot reset light. So here it says flipper control games and air mouse connect to TV and more. Nothing on the sides. On the top of the device it says features connect to the TV. Gives our flipper gyro controls. We have our GPIO breakout, the type C connection to the flipper or to the Raspberry Pis on this side. The video output is up top and our pins that connect to our flipper zero. You guys are gonna be so upset, I misplaced my handy dandy kniff. So we're just gonna do our best with this box and it's not going well. All right, now with this box completely mangled, let's go ahead and open it up. So for those that are interested, how does it work? It says scan this QR code. So if you happen to lost your box or wanna know, you can scan the code on the screen now and I'll tell you how it works. But here we have install the module. So a flipper without a case, you just plug it right in. Flipper with the case, we have to remove a silicone padding and then stab it in. So do do. What if that's a HDMI mini output at the top? I bet you it is. Okay. No, it's actually a full HDMI. Okay. So here we have it. Uh, this is the module. So um, there's that orange silicone that I was talking about. We're gonna have to remove that since. Actually, we shouldn't have to with the 3D printed case because. There's no case on it. It's just a new replacement shell. So I think we're okay to leave it on. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll test that. Anyways, okay, we're gonna remove that plastic piece so it shows up on camera a little bit nicer. Here it is, uh, exactly how it is on the box. Um, we have a to enter, you have two flash, blah, 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 four power up. Okay, we just plug it in. There's our type C to access the Raspberry. There's a full HDMI out. Just some info on the back. Oh, and another QR code for a quick start guide. Again, if your box gets damaged or misplaced. So I think just connecting it is easy. So let's go ahead and we're gonna, oops, go to settings. I got in trouble a few videos ago. Someone said, you know, just doing it, hot swapping is bad, which is true, which is true. You should always power off your devices before you plug in new things. So do that, we'll plug this in. <laughs> uh, it's a bit ridiculous, but I do like that right here. Oops, I do like that right here. They kind of made that naturally just where your fingers go. Like they just kind of naturally rest there. So that's nice. Let's go ahead and get it booted back up. So it says video game mode initialized. I zoom in on that. All right, that's maximum. So we'll do what I can. Let's go to apps, go to games. I keep hearing my phone go off. Why that nice stuff got delivered. Let's see if I can tap the screen so we can see what's going on here. Go and hit play. So there we have it. It's in motion. If we just tilt it again, is this practical? No. Is it fun? Yeah. From my angle, the ball just disappears. But in order to show you guys, so trying to play on a little tiny screen up top. Oh, here we go. I still, yeah, I still can't see. Okay, anyways, so, so, so there we have it. The gyro controls definitely work. Very responsive, actually. And uh, no real delay, stutter, or anything like that. I think I died. Okay. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure what other games support the video game module. We'll have to do some research and play, but I'm. this is just a short little video about this device and figured, you know, it's it, it's different. It's fun. I'll probably end up doing 
a giveaway of this device and uh, you know we'll, we'll see but let me zoom out just a tad boop there we have it the video game module for the flipper zero again pcb way thank you so much for sponsoring this video yeah thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please consider leaving a like and subscribe be sure to check out modernbroadcast.tv there is new merch out there it is up it is ready to go so be sure to check that out if you're interested in supporting the channel anything is is greatly appreciated and keeps us doing what we're doing so yeah let me know in the comment section some videos that you want to see coming up i do need to get back into gb studio i'm having a tough time finding the motivation to do that so i do apologize for my viewers that are wanting to see gb studio we will get there i just gotta have the time to to get there so yeah have a great week everyone take care